911 emergency, do you require police, fire, or ambulance? One moment, please. Stay on the line. I'll connect you. This is the Operational Communications Center for the Southeast District of the RCMP, the largest RCMP OCC in all of Canada. In 2010, they took a total of 221,000 calls here, but 46,000, or 21% of them, were abandoned calls. And that number is a drop from the previous year when there were 51,000 abandoned calls. The biggest cause? Cell phones that mysteriously and accidentally dial 911 from your pocket or purse. It's known as pocket or butt dialing. We're getting more and more calls on 911 where when we answer at PSAP with a 911 desk, we can't determine when they don't answer us if there's an emergency or not. So as there's more cell phones out there, we're getting busier and busier. 911 emergency, do you require police, fire, or ambulance? Hello? Hello? We're using valuable time to try to track down these people and ensure that they're all right. We may be needing to deal with other issues, and we're concerned. I mean, if we get a 911 call, that means emergency to us, and we're concerned. And we need to know if there is a medical or fire police emergency, and we have to, we have to find out if it's, if it's a negative, then we have to find out. RCMP for what town or city? And how can I help you? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely time consuming. Especially if you ever think that there's anything wrong, like if you've heard some voices or you're just not sure, then yes, you definitely take the time to investigate it and it takes a while. Anywhere from 10 minutes to half an hour, two hours. We've spent a lot of time tracking down these cell phones, a lot. We had, yeah, an incident a while ago where for days there was abandoned and once coming in on a certain cell phone, so it can take a lot of time. It would be that one time that, you know, you thought it was a prank and it wasn't that, yeah, you wouldn't want that to happen. A great deal of resources can go into an abandoned call. First, the operator must determine if it's just an accidental call or a more serious situation where the caller cannot talk. That could be difficult to decipher from mumbled words or muffled ambient noise. The sounds can be similar to those emitted by someone struggling in a real emergency. Because it's an unknown, we don't know if they're yelling because they're having fun or not. Um, once the police arrive, we could have wasted many, many minutes and many hours and manpower hours. Um, two, maybe even three police cars, depending on what we think could be happening. It takes time to really, to really learn to trust your gut um, or to know the difference between just a general pocket dial or, or something. If you ever hear like any sort of voice or, or if anything's just a little bit off and we always err on the side of caution, I, you know, I. I'd make a file if I wasn't sure. Any doubt, you make a file and we go. Better to be safe than sorry. With the call trace, we'll speak to the service provider for the cell company. Say, we have this cell phone number that's called us. We believe there might be an emergency. Uh, can you give us a subscriber information? And can you ping the phone for GPS? That way we can maybe check that location. If the person dialing cannot be reached, a police car could be sent out to confirm it's not a more serious situation. 911 emergency, do you require police, fire, or ambulance? Hello? Hello? Hello, 911 emergency? It's a pocket dial. That's the number. Thanks. Hello? Now, this might be a kid. Hello, 911 emergency? That's the sound that we hear when it comes through. Sometimes someone's just sitting on their phone or it's in their purse. But how exactly does a cell phone dial 911? Some people have the number programmed into their phones and random address calling does happen. Some phones can call 911 when the number 9 is pressed down. Some Blackberries with trackballs have been known to dial emergency services. 911 is already programmed in on most people's phones as the 9 key. You don't have any say in that. You can't change it. It's automatically, it'll say emergency call. The, the most important thing though is to know that if you're on a phone and it's got a touch pad or it's got to be locked, you need to know how to lock that phone. There are steps you can take to help reduce unwanted calls to 911. One is to buy a case to prevent pocket dialing, and there is no need to program the number into your contacts. But the best way to prevent the accidental calling of emergency services is to lock your phone and use a passcode. This is an iPhone, so to unlock this one I have to press the button on the top here, and then I have to slide my finger across, and then it requires a passcode, so I type in one, two, three, four it unlocks the phone.
that's not something that can happen on its own. It's a touchscreen BlackBerry, so one way to unlock it, if it slides open, it automatically unlocks. When you close it, it doesn't lock on its own unless you press your top button here and you lock it. So now, I can't press anything on the screen at all until it's unlocked or slid open. If you do realize you've made a call and it's an accidental call to 911, just stay on the line so you can speak to one of the call takers and tell them, hey, I, I accidentally just realized that I've called, so just so you know there's no emergency. That way we can not have to try to phone you back several times, not knowing if there's an emergency or not. And remember this, phones without a SIM card or active contract with a cell phone provider can still call 911. You as a consumer pay for that service. There are 106 employees in the Southeast District Office and they serve a huge area from Lillooet in the east to Clearwater in the north to the Alberta and U.S. borders. Of the 46,000 abandoned calls here, 53% came from cell phones and a further 21% were from an unknown source. Hi there, it's the 911 operator calling. We've received a hang up 911 call from your cell phone. Do you have an emergency there? No, were you just using your cell phone? Oh, your cell phone was in your pocket. Oh, okay, and you're sure you don't have any emergency there? And you can talk freely right now? You always have to think of the okay, worst if situation if someone's standing right there that, saying, that is that the police? Well, don't say okay, anything. Day, you're you ask some questions where they can just answer yes or no because they could say no, and then from there I'm going to know that's something wrong and we're going to keep going. If they don't answer, there's a lot more work to be done. So you always like when they answer and you can confirm that they're okay.